But we can put that in a prayer. I want to show you. I want to show you. You rejected the gospel. You rejected. I told you, my faith is a personal matter between me and my God. It's a personal matter. Yeah, yeah. I know this is about the prophet. I have my faith. And you'll never see a Muslim who puts down uh, Jesus or the Christian yeah. faith. They do, they do. If I said, if I said that Muhammad was a slave of Jesus, would that be okay with you? It's controversial. Okay, so so is a miss miss um, is a miss. Um, it's a hold on, turn it towards me. It's a controversial yeah, story. What's your name, by the way? What's your name? Amy. Amy, but Amy, but even in the Bible, Jesus called a servant of God. So, but how that is though? He's a servant of the Father, of not God. of, of God, yeah. yeah. But he also, let me show so you this verse. So when we say Jesus, then Allah, same thing. Same thing. No, because Allah is not a father, and Allah doesn't have a son. Well, but Jesus is Aramaic, which, and God in Aramaic is Allah. So that, that's the same thing, is it not? Hold on, let me give you these verses, one minute, yeah? Have you read the Bible before? Well, some of it. Okay. Well, some of the Bible. But I know that okay. there's a verse and it sounds really like Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Yeah. It sounds really similar and the description. Especially Isaiah 42. It gives us a, it gives us a location mm. of Mecca, of Medina and Kedah, which is in Arabia. Mm -hmm. So Let God, me get it on my phone quickly because yeah. I need to find it exactly. So you so according to what you've been told, Muhammad is the Holy Spirit. No, 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 no. Come, Not the Holy I believe yeah. that Isaiah 42 is talking about an Arabian prophet. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 42, I don't know the other one in the New Testament, but Jesus says, no, um, I, when I, I have many things to say to you, mm -hmm. but you cannot bear them now. Yeah, that's when, the verse I want to find. When you, I send the Spirit of Truth, he will guide you to all truths. Yeah. Um, wherever we tell him, he will not speak of himself. And okay. um, I don't know the rest. Um, yeah. Whatever words he put in his mouth, he will say. And obviously, if that is the Holy Spirit, then that means that the Holy Spirit can't really talk by himself. And okay, so it's John 16, okay? Yeah, yeah. So, this too with Isaiah 42 is another topic as well. But yeah. I'm just going to go with this first on John 16. Yeah, because I know, I've read the Quran, and it says that Jesus will testify of Muhammad, right? Mm -hmm. Jesus, in the Quran, it says that Jesus will testify of Muhammad. Yeah, he was something. About it. Oh, yeah, so that's where you get your idea from. Yeah, so, yeah, so when we go um, into... Yeah, I know, as I, as I put it to the Old Testament, it's talking about someone that's going to come in Kedar, with the Testament of Kedar, and where Mount Selah. So in here, so this is where these verses that you're talking about. Yeah. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, yeah. he will guide you into all truth, no, for yeah. he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that he shall speak. And he will show you things to come. Yeah, okay, let's pause, let's pause there for a little bit. Mm -hmm. so, obviously, here it's saying he. I refer to this person as a he. Mm -hmm. And it's saying he will not speak of himself. Mm -hmm. And uh, But what whatsoever he shall hear, that he shall speak. And he will show you things to come. Yeah. Okay. So, if so this, for argument's sake, if this is the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. this means that the Holy Spirit can't speak by, by his own will. That's, the, that's thing is, the thing is, the thing is, the first point to address yeah. uh, is that, the, you know, yeah. Jesus was talking to the apostles and actually mm -hmm. yeah. the fulfillment of this, today yeah. is the day of Pentecost actually, so it's the, day, yeah. it's the day when the Holy Spirit um, came on the apostles uh -huh. and um, it's fulfilled in here. So when he's talking about the spirit of truth, yeah. that can't be Muhammad, it's like I'm saying that yeah. I'm going to send you the spirit of truth and he will guide you. Yeah. It can't be Muhammad because Muhammad came a few hundred years later, first yeah. of all. Yeah, he think he's going to come in the past. No, but, he, in, but in, he's in fulfilled future, But he's fulfilled in Acts. So, uh, you know, when Jesus is ascended, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then, he will, then the spirit of truth came. Yeah, but one so, second, one second. I, haven't, I haven't finished my point. Yeah, saying, go on. And he will show you things to come. And mm -hmm. we know that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the main prophecy that came true that we can see today. Yeah, but the thing is, Muhammad, first of all, the Bible was the final revelation and Muhammad came with a different message. So, so anything that it doesn't match, like with your hadith, yeah. if the hadith doesn't match with the Quran, right, you reject, reject it. it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. if Muhammad comes, even saying that oh in the Jesus, son of Mary and Moses, but it's a different story, then it is not the same. So but yeah, but you're measuring that with like what's been told to you by like the church mm -hmm. and stuff. So no, I imagine from what it says in the Bible, so this is fulfilled. So Jesus was talking to the apostles when they were still on when he was still on earth, then he died. Oh, yeah. And when he was um, ascended, Jesus says when he was ascending, 
um, and being assembled together with them, commanded that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which said, You've heard of me. For John truly baptized you with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. Yeah, but so, you see, it's, it's a different, different to the other one. So how do you know this is um, like God hand in hand with the other one? But that's separate. What do you mean? So the other verse we were talking about where you think, I was going to spirit truth. Yeah. Um, but the spirit, spirit of truth is the Holy Spirit. So in, in, in um, Hebrew, or not Hebrew, Greek, the mm -hmm. same word for spirit is prophet in mm -hmm. Kone Greek. So obviously mm -hmm. this could be a mistranslation. It's not a mistranslation. The thing is, even in the, even in the Old Testament, mm -hmm. The prophets they received the holy they received the Holy Spirit, you know, and then they spoke, you know, they said, Does God said. So the Holy Spirit dwelling um, the difference is that when Jesus died and resurrected, we can be sealed by the Holy Spirit forever. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just for prophets for a time. Yeah. That's the difference. Uh, but like you, but you said that the Holy Spirit was in the Old Testament, so this can't be the Holy Spirit. No, it, it is, it is, it's just a different covenant. Before yeah. it was just a the um, prophets, yeah. they received the Holy Spirit and then he left. But after Jesus died and resurrected and he came, so it says in here, um, but you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem, in Judea and in Somalia and unto the uttermost part of the earth. So the Holy Spirit, let's say it's Muhammad, so to say that Muhammad come upon you, it can't be the Muhammad because he came on on them. But how could it be the Holy Spirit that, could have, that Jesus could have sent if you were there in the Old Testament? Mm -hmm. Even during the time of Abraham, the Holy Spirit was there, and during the time of John the Baptist, you were there, the Holy Spirit. Well, it was different because yeah. before that, people, you know, for example, John the Baptist, his mom, she conceived and he was filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And the old, the prophets and some of the kings, like King David, they received the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit yeah. left people. You know, so he came and, and left. Yeah, oh. but this is in the new covenant when Jesus died and he gives the Holy Spirit, and that's what it means to be born again. So when you become a Christian, yeah. you receive the Spirit of God, yeah. and it comes and lives in you. So you're saying that the Spirit talking about Jesus when he was sent here, it's not it's talking about the Holy Spirit. And it's talking saying, about the Holy Spirit. In that passage, it says he will tell you things to come, but like you can't talk to the Holy Spirit today, can you? We can, How? we can, um, because you know, as Christians, we can prophesy. We can. Oh, there is a sun behind you. Sorry. Hold on, sorry, one minute. Um, you know, he will guide us into all truth. It means that he will, um, you know, we will be able to discern what is right because we received. Which chapter has the gifts of the Holy Spirit? By the way, I have to. So the Holy Spirit gives us gifts as well, like yeah. peace. Like, I'm going to find it for you. Um, so you think he will teach you things to come? He will teach so us things to come. He will tell you things that's going to happen in the future. Yeah. But what the Holy Spirit told you? Like, what? Well, he gives us wisdom. Let me find this for you one yeah. minute. And the same thing in Isaiah, even before the New Testament, in the Old Testament, we have in Isaiah 42, we're talking about Kedar, which is Arabia, and Mount mm -hmm. Selah, which is Medina, mm -hmm. which is literally where the prophet is buried today. Mm -hmm. So the Old Testament is telling me So Isaiah 22, uh, 42, 42 yeah. I'll, I'll address that in a moment. So I'm yeah. just going to go on 1 Corinthians 12, um, which talks about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And then I'll go on that verse. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I know Isaiah 42, the only person that it matches the description of is the prophet Muhammad. Because all of the prophets in the Old Testament, New Testament, it didn't match the description. Like, but if you look at the, uh, Muhammad, it, it matches the description. So they said Arabia, Selah, he will, he, will, he will defeat the idolaters, which Jesus never did. He never defeated any idolaters. Jesus was a warrior. In Isaiah 42. It talks about God being a warrior, but I'm going to show you just briefly. We'll close on the Holy Spirit and I'll show you what it says in uh, Isaiah 42. Um, so, you know, in here it talks about the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Um, so no one can say that Jesus is Lord but by the Holy Spirit. Um, and there are What's different. This? Uh, this is one Corinthians. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then it, the, it says, um, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. Um, you know, to one is given wisdom, knowledge, faith, and other gifts of healing. So who wrote um, the report? 
Yeah. Yeah, see, with Paul, it's like it's a little bit dodgy, isn't it? Like, it's not dodgy. Yeah, so Paul admits a line. He a line in the back. No, it's a mis mis misquoting of yeah. what, misunderstanding of what you said. So Paul, um, you know, the liars, you know, Paul said himself in yeah. 1 Corinthians 6 that all liars will take part in hell. But I'll go on Isaiah yeah. Six, um, yeah, yeah. 42. So I know there's somewhere in the Bible where Paul said, if my force would bring people to the truth, why do you call me a sinner? I don't know where it is, but I know somewhere there. Paul says that if my falsehood brings people to the, I don't know, the Lord of the truth, why do you call me a sinner? So he was admitting to like lying to people, to convert people. No, he didn't lie to people. He, you know, when we can't lie. Um, I think I know which verse, but I can look it up or I can go in Isaiah yeah. 42. I mean, we can go to Isaiah 42 first. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm, trying, I'm trying to talk about okay. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Bible. Okay. In the Bible 42. Hold on. Sorry, one second. Cause, sorry, thank you. Okay, so this is misquoted by many Muslims. So behold my servant who I uphold, mine yeah. elect in whom I so delight. So let's just pause there. So you're saying my servant. Mm -hmm. So if it's Jesus, it's referring to, you're saying Jesus, isn't it? Yeah. So Jesus referred to other servants. Yeah. But if Jesus is God. So how can that yeah, be? because he, he, he executes what the Father says. So the Father, Son and Holy Spirit, they're yeah. one. But the, the Father decrees, um, the, Jesus executes and the Spirit conforms. So they work together. Um, but you know, you can say there is a hierarchy you know, in terms of the Father, but they're all equal and they're but all the, divine. If a hierarchy, then that means the Trinity, it debunks the Trinity. No, no, it, it doesn't debunk it, it's just different roles. Um, you know, we say that, the, that Jesus submits to the Father, but we also say, you know, um, that the Father submits to Jesus, but it's just the way, for example, we are told to pray to the Father, yeah. you know, Jesus says pray to the Father, yeah, yeah. but he also says to pray in his name, so and we do God, it in the Holy Spirit. So to God as a servant would be an insult. Mm -hmm. You can't call God a servant. So that would be an insult to God. For example, well, we, no, we call Allah the, the, the king, whatever the name is the king. Yeah, we say Allah but servant. he's the king of kings as well. So he's, so a, he's servant. a servant. Yeah, okay, but let's, let's so it so says, who am I my delight, my elect? Yeah. In whom my soul delight, yeah, yeah. I put my spirit upon him, okay. and he shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. Okay, yeah, let's stop here. The Gentiles. So Jesus in the Bible said, I would only tell to the lost sheep of the half Israel. Mm -hmm. At the time, yes, yeah. when he came. He said to the Gentiles. Yeah, but uh, the Bible, the gospel is for all nations, you know, it's for all people. Okay. But why, why would Jesus say um, to the Samaritan woman, um, why would he reject her first? Then? Um, it was to test her. Oh, it was just a test? Yeah, because he... he came to seek her specifically, mm. um, you know, and he actually was testing her, like God tests us, and yeah. he actually, you know, she became um, a born-again believer, and she went to preach the gospel. So, in fact, you know, unfortunately, most of the Jews don't have the truth, but yes, because the Messiah and the Bible and the prophets are Jewish, he came to the Jewish people first, yeah, he said, the um, and then, the yeah, and then you know they went into the whole world. That's why he said, "Go into the whole world to preach the gospel." Okay. And he says, "A bruised reed shall not break, and a smoking flash shall not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. He shall not fail, not be discouraged, till he have set judgment in the earth." And Isaac shall wait for his law. Thus says God the Lord, he that created the heavens and stretched them out, yeah. he that spread forth the earth, and he that come out of it, he that give bread unto the people on it, and the spirit of them that will work in it. I the Lord have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thy hand, and will keep thee, and keep thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles. Yeah, a covenant of people like the Gentiles. Yeah. And, and we know that the Prophet Muhammad will think for all of mankind, that's what he think. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and then they sit in darkness out of the prison house. Um, you know, because Jesus, you know, he came to set the prisoners free. He did say, uh, I can find it up one second. Um, they also said something about the blind. And yeah. The Prophet Muhammad, the Quran said it's not the eyes that are blind, it's the heart. So yeah. we believe that Prophet Muhammad was sent to open our eyes, not physically, yeah. but like uh, spiritually to like like so that we know the truth isn't it yeah but this yeah. is this is jesus um you know this is from luke the spirit this is jesus the spirit of the lord is upon me yeah. because he anointed me to preach the good tidings to the poor mm. he sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recover inside to the blind to set the liberty to them there are bruised to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord so if you see him here um that's what jesus did sorry um 
you know, uh, to open the eyes, to bring out the prisoners from, sorry, the wind. Um, and I am the Lord, this is my name, and my glory will I not given to another one, neither my praise engraven images. Behold, the former things are past. Wait, wait, sorry, it says, I am the Lord, that is my name, mm -hmm. and my glory will not be given to another one. Yeah. So that's one. That's, that's the weed right there. Yeah, but we, we have a different... The thing is, sir, yeah. if you read in your Quran, yeah. right, Allah has a spirit, so you can't get around it. So we believe yeah, God but, is one, but yeah. you you believe Allah is a spirit as well. We believe that Allah is one. But, you, but he can't be one if he has a spirit. Then there is Allah, then there is a spirit of Allah, then there is a word of Allah, which is Jesus. I've never heard of the spirit of Allah. But, but it's in your Quran. So, yeah. he, so my husband has a Quran. I can show you yeah. that the spirit of Allah, he, for example, breathed into Mary. Yeah, yeah, he became spirit. a man and he breathed into Mary. And the spirit from him. From yeah. Him. Yeah, but we also believe that the spirit is from God. So I won't keep you too long. Sorry. And um, behold, the former things are to pass, and new things are declared before they spring forth. I tell you of them. So this is about the new covenant, which is what I said. You know, when Jesus died, um, he brought about a new covenant so that we are saved by um, by grace through faith in him. But I, thought that, but I thought Jesus said that I come. I have not come to abolish the law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know he's a legalist, God, but at the same time, no one can be saved by keeping the law. He didn't come to abolish the law, the Ten Commandments, which, by the way, are missing from the Quran. But the thing is, we're not saved by keeping the law. We are saved by faith in Jesus Christ. Yeah, but we know because, that Muhammad born, he's coming as well. Yeah, but that, that's the uh, that, that's the thing. So this is the the part I think that you're talking about. Sing unto the Lord a new song, yeah. and his praises from the end of the earth. Right. You that go down to the sea, and all that is therein, in the isle and the inhabitants thereof. So, let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice, the villages that Kedar do in inhabit. Yeah. Let the inhabitants of the rock sing, let them shout from the top of the mountains. Yeah. So, I can tell you, this is talking about the Jewish people coming back from the diaspora. What's that? So the Jewish people were expelled from Israel yeah. and they're everywhere. So now you, you know about the situation in Israel, you were in a Palestinian Yeah, the Palestinian shabab, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. thing is, what is happening in the last decades is that the Jewish people, they've come back to Israel. This is a Bible prophecy. But this is Kedah. He, Kedah not in Israel. Kedah is in Arabia. Yeah, but yeah. he's talking about the Jews in Kedah. He's talking yeah. about... So this is talking about the new song. So when, when the Jewish people, they left uh, Pharaoh, they were singing a song. Um, and, you know, it's talking about the song of them coming back into the land. It's not talking about Sharia law. But we know it's that Kedah about... is one of the grandfathers of Ishmael, which is, and Muhammad is a descendant of Ishmael. Yeah, but we know the Jews are scattered. This is just, so, this is just, you know, the Muslims reading into one verse when it doesn't say that. Like, I can show you, um, one minute, one second. Yeah. And later on it said that he would defeat the idolaters. Yeah. Which is something Jews never did. Jesus never defeated any idolatry in his lifetime. And it also said he will be he will be victorious over his enemies. Mm -hmm. But in Christians, they believe that Jesus was crucified by his enemies. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't fit Jesus. If you look at the whole package, package from beginning to end, like with, if you look at Kedar, Sela, defeating the idolaters, um, he will be victorious over his enemies. It didn't, the description doesn't match Jesus, isn't it? So yeah. that's, that, that's why, like, even if I was like, if I were to look at it from a non-biased perspective, I like feel a non-Muslim perspective, and I had some sort of um, understanding of the New Testament, I couldn't match it with Jesus because it didn't match. The thing is, let, let me find this one minute because there are other verses. One second, yeah. I, no, uh, Isaiah 42, verse 10. But when Jesus was preaching, he was preaching in Jerusalem where there were no idols. And there was no there were no um polytheists. There no, were, they were they, they were pagans. The thing is we would you know according to your standard we would consider Islam paganism. Okay. Islam is paganism. So according so he would destroy the Kaaba when Jesus comes back, because that's paganism. So um, Abraham no, he didn't build the Kaaba. I'm just looking for a verse um, to make sense of this new song. Sing a new song, one second, because it makes it more clear in a strange land. So, um, sorry, in a strange... Okay, so... 
So in here, it says, you know, Psalm, how can we sing the songs of the Lord while in a foreign land? If I forget to Jerusalem, may my right hand forget his skill. May my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth if I don't remember you, if I do not consider Jerusalem my highest way. Um, so the new song is about, um, like I said, the Jewish people coming back to Israel. Um, it's not to do with Sharia, because Sharia... In here, sorry, I will look one second. This is Revelation, the end of the Bible. And, um, you know, the great choice sang a new wonderful song in front of the throne of God and before the, the four living beings and 24 elders. No one could learn this song except 144,000 who were redeemed from the earth. So it's talking about, um, you know, certain Jewish people redeemed from the earth. So this new song, this is in Revelation. So the thing is, we need to find out what is the new song. You know, you're a Christian, right? Yeah. Can you describe, you know, in Isaiah 42, it, 10, it talks about the new song. But it is a new song sung for the Jewish people when they return to their land, isn't it? Yeah, it's not to do with Muhammad. That is one of the revelation. Yeah. They will sing with the new song yeah. that no one can sing. Yeah. I'm a musician and a singer, but I do not, uh, I will not sing that song because yeah. it was only given to the selected few people. What about yeah. Mass? What about Mass? Yeah. What about Mass? So, let's, let, let's read it on. Okay, thank you. Stay here, please, one minute. Yeah, because, um, so let the wilderness and the city that's full lift up their voice, the village of Kedar do inhabit. Let the inhabitants of the rock sing. Let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory unto God and declare his praise on the island. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. So that debunks it, isn't it? Because Allah is not a man. Yeah, Allah not a man, yeah. But in here it tells you the Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. So we believe that Jesus will come back as a man and he will fight for Israel and he will redeem his church, right? Um, he shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. See, again, he's saying that he's a man of war. And he shall cry, you know yeah, he shall... Wars, but Jesus, huh? never, Jesus never fought in any war. Sorry? Jesus never fought in any war. He will in the second coming. Oh. So, you know, in your Quran, you have the hour, the hour, the hour. You as well that he's going to come and fight the war when he comes back. Yeah, the thing is, the whole Old Testament, when it talks about the day of the Lord, which is the judgment day, that's the day when Jesus is coming back. So when Jesus comes back, he comes back to fight. Oh. We believe that as well. When Jesus comes back, he's going to fight. And we don't call him Lord. He repeat it in Luke 4.18. Sorry? Luke 4, 18, he said, this, this verse was fulfilled. This is why they want Jesus to be thrown to the ravine. Mm -hmm. To be thrown to the ravine. Because, because a sheep is she's telling them, Jesus is telling them that he is the Messiah. He is the anointed. Yeah, we've read this one. Do you remember? We've read it about the Spirit of the Lord. They want so, to push Jesus. In yeah, so they wanted him to make him. They, they also uh, they wanted him to make him king because according to the Old Testament, you know, he will come as a king to reign, yeah. um, you know, but they kind of, they misunderstood the scripture that he has to come to die first, so he will come the second, and this is why many Jewish people don't believe in Jesus, um, because he didn't come yet as the Messiah, let's say, as a, he came as a Messiah, but not to fight, you know. Yeah, yeah, because and, uh, so the best thing to, to see the reaction of Jesus, he always separate himself if the people want him to be king, because he does not want to physically be king, but to be king forever and ever. Yeah. That's why he they, they got rid of him. Yeah. 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 And it's a mob. They cannot face Jesus because he was the son of God. He can do it. Who is the illiterate in Isaiah 29 12? The illiterate man that will be given the book or given the scripture. That one, John knows. John, can you come one second? 
I know, I know. Oh, he ran because Johnny banged him already. Uh, no, Siraj came to whisper at first, but I don't know. I think you know which one is it. Sorry, sir. Now, the I twenty nine twelve. They talked about an illiterate that will be given the book. Oh, what are you saying? So Isaiah forty nine twelve. Twenty nine twelve. Oh, twenty nine twelve. Yeah, that's easy to explain. So, in Isaiah twenty nine, right? In the context, it's not talking about any future prophet. It's actually talking about Israel itself. And I'm going to read that? it. The people. Talking it's talking about Israel, my friend. Right? And literate. we've already done this before. Yeah, Holy Spirit. <laughs> so he said Isaiah 29, 12, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's read before that, right, no, to get the context. To get the context, dude, we're not doing, we're not playing your game. So okay. you still use Isaiah 9, 6 without context. Okay. They don't read the For the Lord have poured, I'm, I'm reading out. Can I read out? No, okay. For the Lord have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and have closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers, the seers have he covered. Who is this talking about? No, just carry on. We no, want I'm Isaiah 29, 12. I'm asking no, your question. No, I'm asking your question contextually. Who is this talking about? Isaiah 9, Siraj, stop running. They don't read Isaiah 9, 5, 9, 4. Are you going to listen to his commentary in Tafsir? You're going to listen to me. That's Jesus. Yeah. Think, it looks like I'm not even in code's conversation. You two ladies can have a conversation. I'm going to stand it. I mean, if you're not talking to me, I'm not They're scared of you, that's why. They're scared. You don't want to read the context. Not a lot of context. Okay, so I'm just going to finish up with saying this, right? So in Isaiah 29, this is talking about Israel. Okay. The Lord God is warning Israel for their blindness. There's, and this is what happens. They will be blinded by the Lord of Israel. It says, for the Lord have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and have closed your eyes and the prophets and your rulers, the seers he have covered. This is talking directly to Israel if you just read the context. Israel have been punished. They've been sent away to the Babylon exile. Um, and the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, read this, I pray thee, and he says, I cannot, for it's sealed. And the book is delivered to him that is learned, not learned, saying, read this, I pray thee, and he says, I am not learned. Therefore the Lord said, for as much as this people draw with me, near me with their mouth, and with their lips to honour me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of man. So this is hyperbole. The way the book is described, or somebody reading a book but not knowing how to see it, is the way the Israelites are described of. Those during the Babylon exile who rejected the Lord and had governed for themselves other prophets, other seers. This has nothing to do with Muhammad. Muhammad is not in there. It's not even in the Bible. <laughs> well, yeah. How many times do we have to have a discussion? If you, have not, if you are not scared and you believe in your faith, it's not and about you fear, have Siraj. confidence. Siraj, the arguments of God. Jesus Bible Christ, Christ won 2,000 years ago. I don't have to prove it. Talk to me. <laughs> so we shouldn't be I'm not winning anything by doing this. It's you who's losing. Prove Trinity, the existence of Trinity. You don't understand. You're losing by doing this. I've okay, already prove. won. Jesus bet, Christ died and prove. rose again for our I sins. You prove what Jesus you Christ is God. No. He I is our Savior, our atonement. And he will come again to judge the living and the dead. He is the first and last. He says that I'm the resurrection and life. Okay, but that's the point, uh, this is an Injil, it's my last one I gave them out, this is oh, Arabic in English. Prove it to me, let's believe that Injil is corrupt. The thing is, the Quran doesn't say it's corrupt, it doesn't say, wait, wait, wait. It doesn't say that. And Can I, you prove the existence the, of Trinity? Are you a well, rabbi? Accept the challenge. Are English. Sure? Are you not reading the You must be born again, then we'll leave. No. Wait. Are you sure? Because he already said he didn't want a Bible. I'm gonna, no, I mean, because for me, if somebody says he doesn't want a Bible, I'm not going to force he, you on he's, uh, I'm going to leave now. Before so I, wanna... I say anything, Christians, I want any Christian to so the, prove the, the existence most important, of Triune God. Listen, you can do this all the time. I'm going to leave right Black now. Blackfire and now. Amy. Do you know suddenly? This is yeah, the yeah, most yeah, important yeah, thing yeah, that Jesus yeah, said. Okay. Jesus. Can you read just the black line? Jesus the Son is God, the Father is God, the Holy Spirit is God. When you read the Jesus, born again, the you man see the kingdom has a father. Yeah, and his father about, yeah, is God. Okay, so do you remember so, the beginning of our conversation? Of yeah. between I was telling you, you need to receive the Holy Spirit. The father, yeah, yeah. Um, the son, the you Holy need Spirit. to be born again. In remember, the remember the creation. That's the only way that you can be saved. I don't believe in the Holy Spirit. I believe in Allah. But you, your Quran has a spirit. Spirit from him, from God. Yeah, but we believe that the Holy Spirit is from God because we don't believe it's separate. The thing is, sir, your deeds will not save you. The only thing that will save you is you becoming a new creation and then you become a child of God. Unfortunately, by default, we are born children of the devil because of our original sin. 
because of our original sin with Adam and Eve, we are born children of the devil. Yeah, that, that goes against my belief. So I believe that children are born sinless until they become the, the thing is, the thing is, you know, in the Quran, there is a verse um, where it actually uh, one of your prophets killed a baby because he knew he would become a kafir. This was a kidder, kidder. Yeah, yeah, and, and so... The, can I ask you one question while you're doing this morning? Just one. <laughs> Just because we're clickbait. Yeah, just, just one, just one. I just want to ask one question. So anyway, huh? George, ask, ask no, I'm gonna, no, I'm, I'm, li I'm leaving now. This is who's the, who's the father of Jesus. So I just Listen, one question. Just Can ask, I ask. I mean, who's the father of Jesus? Question. A question. No, no. Ask who's I, the father of Jesus. We, we spoke to yeah. anyway. Ask is yeah. is the, is God the and the father of Jesus? Ask them. So what? I just got one question. Is, is Answer. The is God? Yeah, yeah we believe this, Jesus. but the thing is, is you running? also don't believe who is Allah. The God of Je is who Allah is the your father? father? No, I'm asking I'm you. I'm asking you. Who, who is Allah? The no, Father the tree. Tree. No, 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 no. Who? Okay. Yeah, so yes, Jesus is the Father. We believe that God the Father is the Father of Jesus. And the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of the Father and Jesus. If you look at the Bible, so many people are called the Son of God. Like Abraham is the Son of God. Solomon is the Son of God. David is the Son of God. No, 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 no. Somewhere Jesus says you may be sons of your father in heaven. No. So like, you like everyone, everyone to you, is yeah. So so not everybody, I'm not everybody. So that is eternally begotten Son of God. So that's the difference. You know, we become children of God by receiving the Holy Spirit, and He is eternal. So even David, the Bible says, "Today you are my son. I have begotten you." Yeah, yeah. He, he is. Um, he is created, David. Jesus Christ is not created, and Je Jesus Christ. He met Abraham. He met Moses. Solomon had dreams of him, and many prophets met him in the Old Testament. They saw. They saw God. Yeah, before Jesus, before he came. So the Bible says. The Bible says no one has seen God. So yeah, no one has seen God. No God. Seen God. So but if you look, it's not a contradiction because, first of all, yeah. and I'll show you a verse in here, yeah. and I'll go because I wanted to give you this. I didn't want to bother you. I can't read Arabic. I can't read Arabic. No, this is English and Arabic. It's my last one. Um, hey, George, you're right on this. I've got a Bible at home. I have one at home. I want to show you the, the app, and I'll go. You just don't care. I have one at home already. I have one at home. I want to show you the verse where you said, yeah, and then yeah. I'll go. So I know the no. Bible says no, no one has seen God at any time. Yeah. At any time, no one can has seen you, God. Yeah. So can you read, so that's right. the verse because that you're talking about. Right. No one has yeah, seen no God. no one has ever seen God. The, the only, only God, God who is, is at the Father's not side. This one, not he this one, not this one. Not this one, another one. Huh? Jesus said himself. Yeah. No one so, has seen God. Jesus said you have never so, heard God's voice nor seen his form. John chapter so 5, verse 37. So he's talking about the Father. Okay. So is that's Jesus why the in the Old Testament, Jesus we have many traditions You also have the, the image of God. Before you are the image of God. God said, let us make a man in that's our image. That's why it says that Jesus became flesh. John, Genesis um, chapter 1, verse 26. That's not what image You're of God the image means. of God. That's not what image of God is that a lie? God said, let us make man in our image. Is that a lie? No. Even you in the invisible In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. Yeah. 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 Who is the God the of father. Jesus, the flesh? The okay, is Jesus the Father? But I'm talking to no, no, is no, Jesus the Father? Persons. You okay, know that. is Jesus God? Yes. yes. So even okay, who is the Father of Jesus? Wait, wait. Who is the Father of Jesus? God the Father. Okay, is Jesus the Father? No. Is Jesus God? Yes. We believe in if three Jesus persons. is God. Okay, who is the? Who? I know it drives you insane. Is the Holy Spirit God? Do you pray no, is the, the Holy father? Spirit God? Yes. Is the Holy Spirit God? Yes. You know okay, is Jesus Son of God? Is Jesus Son of God? Okay, Son of who then? The son of the father. Okay, why not Jesus, the son of right. Holy Spirit? If you guys believe, See, if you Holy say Spirit that you believe God. in the Bible and you love and Jesus, Jesus the then I dare you to call who Allah the, the Father who and to the pray father to the Father the in the name of Jesus. of Jesus. If you don't, don't claim Tell that you me. follow Jesus. Me, if you don't, don't claim that you follow the same God. Because we call Muslims God the Father. We pray Jesus. to the Father in the name of Jesus, Jesus. in the power Jesus. of the Holy Spirit. Jesus. You go Jesus. down to the Kaaba and you speak in the foreign language and most people in Sudan and Chad to pray to a God that hasn't spoken to anyone, not even Muhammad. People to lie about Christianity, Jesus. You know what Paul said? Show me the word Jesus in Arabic. What does it matter? Whether from false motives or